How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about how to get six pack abs. So, you know, you guys really want that. You guys have been training for a long time. You guys aren't seeing any difference at all in your abdominal section. What gives? Why don't you guys have abs? Well, to start off, you guys, abs are like any other muscle group. Um, you guys have to train them like a muscle. So you guys are going to have to progressively get stronger. If you guys do not have abs at all, and you guys are still at a very low body fat percentage, the reason why you still can't see any abs at all is because you guys don't have any ab muscles. You guys need to build the muscle in your abs. So let's talk about that. How are we actually gonna build the muscle in our abs? Now this is very simple, you guys. All you guys, all you're gonna have to do is uh, train heavy and constantly progressively overload. So what does that mean? Uh, so let's take two exercises, for example, the two ones that I highly recommend for getting six pack abs, and that's gonna be the weighted ab crunch sitting from a decline bench. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put uh, your legs on the decline bench and you're gonna do a normal crunch. But what you're gonna do is you guys are gonna hold weight behind your head, and then when you do it, you're gonna do the crunch like this. So let's say you guys have 25 pounds, for example. You guys are gonna hold 25 pounds behind your head, do three sets of 10 reps. Um, again, maybe you guys can't do 25 pounds, so start off with about 10 pounds or so. Once you guys can do 10 pounds for three sets, 10 to 12 reps or 10 to 15 reps, then uh, add weight and keep getting stronger. You guys will notice over time that your abdominal section will actually start to look pretty damn good. And you'll start to notice abs. This is how you get six packed abs, you guys. You guys gotta build the muscle. So that's the first exercise that I recommend for getting six pack abs is the weighted ab crunch from a decline bench. The second ab exercise that I'm going to recommend is the hanging knee raise from a, from a dip machine if you want to. Basically, you're going to put your hands on the machine and all you're going to do is lift your knees up. What this does is this is going to work the bottom two abs right here, you guys. Um, now, the weighted ab crunches from the decline bench, that's going to work the top four abs. The hanging knee raises is going to work your lower abs. So these abs right here, you guys. Now, what weight do I recommend? I recommend you guys doing about uh, three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using about a 10 pound dumbbell or so. You guys will notice that this will really, really work your lower abs. You guys will see a huge difference over time. Now, some people are probably wondering, what can I do, you know, if I don't have access to a gym, what can I do at home? This is another great way to do it. Uh, you don't need a decline bench to do it. Uh, you can simply use your bed, for example. Uh, lay on the bed and have your head just hanging off a little bit. Put the weight behind your head and all you're going to do is crunch the weight up. That's it. And you guys can use that. I know all of you guys who are training at home, you guys have access to dumbbells probably have 10 pound dumbbells, 20 pound dumbbells, 30 pound dumbbells. Uh, so what you can do is when you guys are doing it off the bed, you guys can hold 10 pounds behind your head and do three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you got those 10, uh, once you can do all the crunches using 10 pounds, uh, try 20 pounds and try to get that. You see, you guys don't need that much weight to build your abs, but you still need some weight. You can't just do endless amount of crunches that will not build your abs at all. You have to ha uh, start progressively using heavier weights to build your abs, because again, your abs are like any other muscle group. So uh, if you guys don't wanna use your bed too, what you guys can do is you guys can just lay on the ground, put a 25 pound plate, behind your head you guys can do crunches like that as well and you can do say three sets 10 to 15 reps once you can uh, do three sets of 10 to 15 reps with 25 pounds uh, maybe try with 35 pounds and just keep progressively overloading that is the key for six pack dabs you guys i cannot stress this enough is stop doing the endless endless amount of crunches and start putting weights behind your head and start doing weighted ab crunches weighted ab exercises in general. Now you don't need access to a gym. I told you how to do it at home. All it takes, takes a little bit of time you guys. So start building your ab muscles. Once you've spent a few months building them, then you can start to cut a little bit of weight and you guys will notice that your abs will start to show very, very good. 
Um, I've only been cutting for six weeks, and you guys can already know as I'm starting to get a pretty chiseled six pack. Another six weeks or so, this is going to be absolutely insane. So, yeah, that's how you guys can do it. Hopefully, I did answer your guys' question. End of video. Subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. I can make more vids like this for you guys. Thanks.